What's up, you guys? Um, today I wanted to show you guys and walk you through sort of parts of the um, the App Store, the Mac App Store at least, uh, and how it works and how it can be used and how from a very quick start, or it, it was in development for about two, three months just to make sure all the bugs were out, and how from a small application this might look like, it is a very powerful application that will soon get as big as the App Store on the iPod. So... In order to get this, uh, you need to go to your Apple logo, and then you need to go to your um, software update, and there's also an App Store pane, as you can see right there, and the App Store pane just opens up your uh, settings, which I can't get into now. Okay, so the App Store is uh, right next to the Finder, it, and then there's Dashboard, it was in between these. So you click on the App Store, it doesn't take that long to open. And then uh, you get to the um, beginning part. And what App Store really is, is sort of like having... Uh, the reason they have App Store is because they're going to put the downloads on here. And what I mean by that is if you go to apple.com slash downloads, they're eventually going to close that, I think, at least in what I think. They're going to close that, and then they're going to, um, uh, well, put it on here. But Windows people can. So I already have DJ. We just see that thing right here. It's fifty dollars, and yeah, it is fifty dollars, right here. Um, what else can we look at? Um, I don't know why I didn't recognize it though. Normally, we'll recognize it. So it has some iPod, iPod Touch games, iPad games, like Angry Birds. Still very high in, yeah, whatever. Um, it has free apps. Let's just see, cause I don't have any credit on here it only has like three cents okay so um let's see so top free first one's twitter and then there's all these other ones um so let's i already installed gold strike not the best game but i mean it's still in development so yeah um hedge wars pretty good game not the best though um they're thinking about putting some real games on here like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, um, what else? Um, I think they're going to put Gary's Mod on here. Gary's Mod is thinking about moving here. So, yeah. So, let's see what, um, Action Potato. Apparently, if you were to go to games, uh, it's not really the best game. They only have, like, 10 or 20. So, let's get into this. Uh, let's click on free, and it jumps into your dock, I hear. Type in our password. And then all you gotta do is sign in and uh, do the thing. Jumps into your dock. And it loads pretty quickly for me, but it's a small application. Now, as it says, they do. They all have requirements. As long as you meet 10.6, you can get any app you want. So you click on Action Potato. It doesn't take that long to open. Click on Start Game. Click on the pots to jump up and catch fresh potatoes. <laughs> Oh no. Well, I'm playing it with like one hand. Oh yeah, you can only get fresh ones. Oh no, game over. Well, that's sort of it, but I mean, from a very small application to what it can do, this this could be very powerful in the future. And I respect Apple for um, putting this on the internet. I'm not like an Apple fanboy. I mean, I use Windows most of the time, but I'm s you could call me an Apple fanboy, but I'm not uh, like defending myself over the internet. I'm not like that. But I mean, this is a new way, and Apple's basically making that way. Um, so my note, I mean, Intel already tried to copy this. I know Intel's for Mac, but um for Windows, they try to copy this and the uh, they did like the Intel store, and it's sort of like this, except the downloads, you gotta go through all these prompts, versus just clicking and buying. So I'm gonna get this one weather app, and the easiest way to get it, instead of going to here, is just to click free. Uh, type a new password, and signing in. And I think you can make it so you sign in every time or you can make it sign in and it'll be there until you close the app, which I always close it. Um, and if you notice, you don't quit from this. Once you press X, it closes. 
So here we go. Squawk it. And you put in your zip code. And, um, well, whatever. It'll, it'll work. I know it will. Um, now, yeah. It just tells you what you need or whatever. Now, most of these are very small. I'm just going to blab around, so if you want to exit this video, I don't blame you. Um, now, most of these apps are just going to be, like, utilities. But I hear, as I said, the, um, the games, like... Modern Warfare, and they're going to put Steam integrated, I think. Uh, they're going to make a, a lot of apps. I mean, if if you can get it on your iPod Touch, it's possibly going to be for the Mac, because I don't really think the Mac has a um, tilting device unless it's in the hard drive. But the hard drive one's delayed by like a second. So, if you think about it, this, this is going to be a very great uh, open source sort of thing. Not open source, because things cost money, but... Um, if I wish it was for Windows. I own a Mac, but yeah. Um, so other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys upgrade. And App Store, the App Store isn't um, isn't in a download. You can't just download it. You have to upgrade, and you have to meet um, you have to have an Intel processor, and you have to meet all the requirements that are there, like an Intel processor, non-power PC, at least a gig of RAM, stuff like that. You have to meet Snow Leopard requirements to get this. So other than that, uh, thank you for watching, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, please.